Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will talk about a beautiful flowering plant called Verbena. Verbenas are easy to grow animal plants that come with beautiful little clusters of flowers. They are very colorful. They come in white, purple, pink, reds and many other colors. They also come in a lot of varieties. These are also one of the most popular flowers you can grow. They are versatile and very low maintenance plants. They are also quite heat and drought tolerant. In my climate, we grow them in the winter season. In colder climates, they are perfect summer flowers. Verbenas are great plants for ponds and hanging baskets. They are compact plants, so they don't take much space. They bloom heavily. You can see how well these are blooming in such a small pot. If you have small space, then you can grow them very easily. One of the best thing is that they are very long lasting. Even when the weather gets quite hot, they keep blooming. They flower very well in my garden with minimum care. Verbenas are sun loving plants. Give them 6 to 8 hours of direct sunlight to get maximum blooms. They will not bloom well in shady areas and can get fungus problems. If the weather gets too hot, then you can give them afternoon shade or partial shade so they last longer. Otherwise, keep them in full sunlight and you will get lots of flowers. These plants can be grown very easily from seeds or you can get small plants from the nursery. You can even grow them from cuttings. They sell seed in my garden a lot. Here is how I usually buy them. Verbenas like soil that is moderately rich and well draining. The pH can be neutral to slightly acidic. Avoid hard clay soil. Choose any well draining soil. Mix some compost with it. You can also add a tablespoon of bone meal. That will be all. If your soil is hard, then you can add some sand with it. Make sure the pot has good drainage system. During growth, you can apply a light organic liquid fertilizer. They are not heavy feeders, so you don't have to feed them too much. Once in a month, you can add some compost and bone meal or a balanced mix fertilizer and that will be enough. They actually perform better with minimum care. These plants are generally very drought tolerant, but you should water them well. Keep them moist. Water only when the soil feels dry. Too much water can cause fungal attack, so be careful. Don't water on the foliage too much. One of the most important tasks is deadheading. As soon as the flowers fade, you should remove them. This will help you get lots of flowers. You can see my plant has stopped blooming because there are so many dead flowers in it. Keep pruning regularly. It will encourage new flower buds and a long lasting plant. They can get mites and powdery mildew. You can spray neem oil to prevent them. Keep them in a sunny place with good air circulation to avoid pest attack. You can save some seed for the next season to grow them again. They're very easy. They are lovely flowers, perfect for any garden and beginners. Definitely add them for long lasting color. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye.